Good, happy Monday morning. I'm Riley King, and welcome to your news, weather, and traffic update right here on the Riley King Radio Network. Let's get started. First step, passer buyer help prevent truck fire from spreading to Manchester home. Let's take a listen to this video from WMR News 9, Tim Callery. Greetings and thank you for joining me on the Future Money Trends channel, as well as the Vision Victory YouTube channel. I wanted to do a short video about the... Meantime, two New Hampshire men are being praised for their quick thinking, which saved a Manchester home from fire after a truck in a garage went up in flames. WMUR's Tim Callery spoke to the two men. He joins us live now from Manchester. Tim? Well, the two say they understand their actions may have saved this home, but they don't see themselves as heroes. Instead, they say they were just at the right place at the right time. Mitchell Mullen and Jordan St. Amon headed out Sunday afternoon for some lunch. They were traveling down Hoos Road in Manchester when all of a sudden... We ended up passing a house with smoke coming out of the garage. Mitchell was behind the wheel and quickly turned around. As they arrived back at the home, this is what they came across. A pickup truck in the garage covered in flames. Pulled in and the homeowner came running around and... Uh, saw it and I pulled up to it. Mitchell and Jordan jumped out of the vehicle. The homeowner had a chain nearby and together they hooked the chain up to the burning truck and Mitchell's vehicle. Cell phone video of the incident shows the entire ordeal as it unfolded. I got a 911 on the line and called while I was helping him hook the chain up. As the vehicle is pulled from the garage, flames consume the front end. A charred shell of the truck is what remains. No one was hurt and only the garage was damaged. Mitchell and Jordan say they didn't have time to think. They just reacted to the situation and are glad they were able to help out. I mean, I was just trying to focus on getting the truck out of the house, really, so I didn't really process too much more than that. It was just kind of nice that we were just happened to be driving by because if we hadn't been, then his house might have gone down. And now officials say the homeowner was actually doing some welding on the truck and he had finished and just stepped away for a few minutes before that fire started. We did have a chance to speak with him tonight and he says he is very grateful for Mitchell and Jordan's actions. Live here in Manchester, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9. Okay, and there you go on that report. Body found at rest area car fire. One person died in a car fire at a rest area along Interstate 95, state police said. Troopers said the fire occurred around 3.45 p.m. Sunday in the rest area in Mansfield on the northbound side of the interstate. The occupant did not survive. He is being identified by State police at this time. State police surrounding the potential crime scene with their vehicles and the fire department waited nearby. Several units are investigating to determine the cause of the fatal fire, troopers said. Several sickened by high carbon monoxide levels at local gym. Let's take a listen to this video from WMTW News 8 in Maine. Bite into Magnum Double Cookies and Cream and unleash your wild son. Officials say the gas was leaking from the building's heating and ventilation system. The building remains closed until proper repairs can be made. Okay, and there you go on that report. Get ready for pumped up prices, RB says. RBC says oil could surge nearly 20% and take gas with it. Get ready to open up your wallets a lot wider at the gas pump. A major Wall Street bank is restraining 
its bullish call on crude oil as the fossil fuel sites at four weeks highs following this U.S. missile attack, this week's U.S. missile attack on Syria. RBC Capital Markets, head of commodity strategy and CNBC contributor, predicts prices will climb to the low 60s within months, a nearly 20% move from current levels that would translate to roughly a dollar to eighty gasoline spot price. Coalition in Syria rebel forces repel ISIS attack on base. Coalition in Syria rebel forces repelled a fierce ISIS attack Saturday night on their base in a remote area of Syria, close to the Jordan border. And now let's take a look at your weather now. Your weather for today, sunny along with a few clouds, high 78 degrees, winds south-southwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. For tonight, a few clouds, low 53 degrees, winds south-southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And now let's take a look at your traffic. And here's a live look at your traffic right now. We're seeing a lot of green roadways and no yellow or red roadways being reported just yet. Your traffic is moving pretty good on your Monday morning. No major problems to report this morning right now. And that does it for your news, weather, and traffic update right here on the Riley King Radio Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Monday. See you back here later on today. Bye, everyone.